Hello, Kate. Welcome to All Ears English. How are you today? I am so well. How are you? Well, I'm so excited to have you on the show. We love having guest voices on the show. And for our listeners, guys, today on the show, I have Kate. Kate is originally from England and moved to Canada in 2017 after falling in love with a Canadian whilst backpacking in Thailand. I love that. I love the love story, Kate, that you ended up in Canada from England after falling in love with someone. That's a fantastic way to end up somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a mouthful, isn't it? An English girl moved to Canada because she met a Canadian backpacking in Thailand. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You so, got it. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Kate <laughs> runs an online community, guys, to connect and support international professionals who live in Canada. And Kate is also the host of the New to Canada podcast and the New to Canada Academy. So it sounds like you've been busy lately, Kate. Is that right? Yes, definitely. When I moved in 2017, I was just kind of, it was an unexpected move, right? Okay. So I was just dropped in and I didn't know anything. So I thought, you know, there's no reason to struggle anymore because I'm going to create everything that someone needs when they're moving I together. love that. You know, we really do need these resources. We need a place to go when we are new somewhere <clears throat> so we can connect with people in a similar position. And I love your perspective as someone from England who's moved to Canada and you have a really interesting kind of point of view on the Canadian, in a way, the way that can Canadians speak English. Isn't that right? Absolutely. It's crazy because you think, oh, the United Kingdom, the US, Canada, we all speak English. Yeah. Our cultural, you know, things are all the same. You know, we listen to the same music, food, go to watch the same movies. But I was so surprised by all of the differences as a Brit in Canada. It's crazy how many differences there are. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited to get into that today, guys. And when we finish today's episode, Kate is going to let you know a bit more about her community, the New to Canada Academy, and all the resources that are available to you if you're living in Canada and you are a newcomer. But first, let's get into this topic of language in Canada. So Kate, you are here to show us three or four slangs today that we would never find in American English that you do have in Canadian English. Can you tell us what the first one is? Yes, so the first one I have is for money. So the Canadian dollar, we have a $1 coin, which everyone calls the loony. Um, so a loon is a bird that you find in Canada in the lakes. It's a beautiful bird. Oh, so they yes. have a picture of the bird on the coin. So it's a loony. Um, and then the $2 coin is a toonie. A loony <laughs> so and a toonie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It makes me think of that TV show we have in the States, Looney Tunes. It was a cartoon. Absolutely. I wonder if that's somehow related to that, the name. I don't know. I don't know. It would be Interesting. easy to remember. That's a good hack. You know, you can remember <laughs> Looney Tunes. <laughs> so now is this something that's used kind of in, a, in rural places and urban places? I'm, I'm really interested for our listeners in knowing the differences between the, you know, the rural way of speaking in Canada versus the urban way of speaking do you see a big difference by the way and in, in the types of words that are used uh definitely um I've uh, created quite the debates over on TikTok whenever Have I you? generalize Canada as a as a whole you know you've got people <laughs> that live in very you know rural Canada that that say things like oh you're gonna give an her is a really good one um, okay it it means you know if you are driving something that's got quite a speedy engine like a jet ski or a ski do or something or even just mm -hmm. your truck mm -hmm. um, if you're going out for a drive and you're going fast that like you're giving her <laughs> oh my gosh um, so that's going rural for, right pretty rural very yes. very rural okay yeah so okay. if you said that in the city I'm sure that they would uh, understand you but yeah <laughs> right because I think Canada pro I don't know this for sure but it seems to me when I look at a map it seems like Canada has a lot more wide open rural empty space than even the U.S. does right so mm -hmm. people probably live quite far apart from each other in you know the northern territories um, again where in Canada are you living now just remind us one more time what did we say earlier uh, so I'm Northern Ontario, so okay. I'm about two hours from Toronto. So um, Okay, yeah. so you're kind of closer to that that more urban area. Is that right? Sort Absolutely. of that urban corridor? Okay. All right. I love it. So Looney Tooney is the, is the first one. Um, and then what would be our second slang that we need to know, Kate? Uh, coffee is huge here. I'm sure very similar to the States where you have uh, Starbucks or, you know, all of those kind of chains everywhere. In Canada, the chain is called Tim Hortons. Um, <laughs> so you'll see Tim Hortons absolutely everywhere. It's crazy. Every street corner has a Tim Hortons. Yes. And the the slang for Tim Hortons is Timmy's. Timmy's so I'm going to okay. go to Timmy's, get, get a double-double. 
So a double double is, I was so confused when I first got here, but it's basically a <laughs> coffee with two creams, two sugars, a double double. So, all right. I love Gross. it. So that, so I had heard of Tim Hortons before and I knew that was huge in Canada. Is Starbucks big in, in Canada or no, or it how is. do they kind of shake out between the two? Yeah, it is, it is still very popular. Um, but yeah, Tim Hortons is obviously the Canadian brand. So Canadians like to be, you know, oh, I go to Timmy's and um, the, the lineups are through the drive through are crazy. They're always so long. Everyone loves their Timmy's. <laughs> oh, I love it. So go to Timmy's and get a double, double. Oh, so good. So good. Coffee culture is huge for our listeners, right? Because a lot of times we do connect over coffee and tea all over the world. So knowing how to invite someone, would you in Canada, would you invite someone to a Tim Hortons or is it more of a takeout type? coffee shop would you say you can sit down and eat but yeah it's mostly a, a yeah. grab and go kind, kind of, of a thing. lot of yeah. action going leaving op the door opening all the time chili in there I'm sure what about independent coffee shops are those popular would you Ooh, say yes yeah absolutely okay. especially in the cities like if you go to Toronto you actually get you know much better coffee in my opinion and yeah. you get like your you know boutique -y coffee shops and that's much more social and okay. I always say that to everyone if you're trying to meet new people just become a regular at your local coffee shop because then you're that face that everyone gets to see and exactly you can see regular faces and it's easier to meet people so yeah <laughs> great place great way to meet people I love it okay so I'm glad you shared that one because that is going to be a key piece of our listeners lives if they are moving to Canada engaging in coffee culture so good I think we're ready for number three now Kate what would be your third uh, word or expression that we should know uh so I've noticed where I am anyway that uh beauty is said a lot so obviously in the Canadian accent it's a beauty almost with a d yes. um so yeah it's a beauty day out that means you know it's really good weather it's really hot or sunny it's a beauty day um, or you could obviously say a person, oh, she's a real beauty, but that doesn't mean appearance. It means that oh. maybe, maybe that person is a really good friend or a good person. So, oh, she's a real beauty means she's, you know, a great person. Oh, I love that. I like that that word can be used to describe kind of inner beauty in a way. Mm, um, yes. You know, sometimes I feel like American culture can be sometimes a little superficial. I think in the U.S. that would be if we had that expression, it would mean, you know, you're... <laughs> your physical yeah. appearance. You know, there we go generalizing again about these cultures, but it's refreshing to hear that a slang like that means, you know, talking about the inside of a person and who they really are. I love that. Mm -hmm. So again, the expression is, tell us one more time, Kate, you can say. Uh, oh, it's a beauty day out. The beauty day out. Okay. She's a real, yeah, she's a real beauty. I love okay. her. She's great. <laughs> and when we're talking about a day, it's as opposed to saying it's a beautiful day out. You say mm -hmm. a beauty day. That's so interesting. Okay. Love it. I love it. All right. Do you have a fourth one for us? <laughs> a fourth one. Um, toque is a really good one. That means your winter hat. That's oh, a very oh, Canadian. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love that. Uh, I've heard it, but I would never say it. Yep. So that's, that's right. probably pretty Canadian. I like it. I like it. How cold does it get where you, where you live, Kate, in Canada? Um, it gets pretty cold, especially for me. I'm from England, so I'm not used to much snow at also, yes, yeah. it gets really cold. It's the wind chill that gets you. So you think, Oof. oh, it's only, you know, minus five, but then we have to pay attention to the wind chill because that's what really mm -hmm. hits you. It's like minus right. 30. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Terrible. Ouch. Minus 30 Fahrenheit, right? Uh, or no, Cel Celsius. Or, okay, Celsius. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Also really bad. <laughs> yes. I grew up in, or well, I grew up in the Boston area. And so I'm used to the wind chill. I think on the East Coast, mm -hmm. you know, Canada, the US, we can get a lot of these really difficult high winds that can make it feel a lot colder. Yeah. So Ooh. our listeners, our listeners are going to want to be ready for that if they are relocating to Canada. So today we've had some really cool little slang words and expressions. But Kate, could you offer our listeners some wisdom or some words of advice if they are getting ready to relocate to Canada? What should they keep in mind to be successful there? What's the most important thing to keep in mind, would you say? Yeah. So aside from if you can timing it to move to the summer in the summer, yeah. <laughs> I say that's the, the smartest thing you can do. Try not to shock your system too much by moving in the winter time, but sometimes that's out of our control. But if you are obviously get your toque and get, get your toque. winter stuff. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I would say that, you know, job searching is, is notoriously difficult for newcomers in Canada. Um, mm. That's a big, big conversation over here with newcomers. Uh, so lots of uh, pre 
arrival prep is key. Get your LinkedIn profile up to date, get your resume up to date, because it's all about who you know in Canada, building up your network, whether you Got see it. that's good or bad, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you say that most of the people who come over, come to Canada have been kind of recruited by a company and sort of had a, had a job already, or most of them don't have a job and are looking for a job? What do you see in your audience, your community? Yeah, I see people job searching. So yes, they come here and they, you know, they land and then they're looking for that job opportunity. So that's why a lot of people head to Toronto because that's where, you know, a big saturation of jobs are available. Um, Mm. Lots of networking opportunities. Yes. Do they tend to go to Toronto more than Vancouver, for example? Is Toronto sort of the favored city for job opportunities, would you say? I would say so. Yes. It's just, it depends on the climate that you, that appeals to you. I always say that, you know, Toronto is more kind of like New York and then Vancouver has more of that LA vibe. So it is very similar. It mirrors the States in that way. Um, Yeah. If you're, if you're craving the mountains and the ocean, then people go to Vancouver, but yeah, Toronto is more for that corporate life. (laughs) Oh, good. It's fantastic advice, Kate, you know, really have your LinkedIn profile in order, have your connections. You want to be building your connections years before moving, right? We're not going to start building those connections when we arrive. We're going to already have those and we'll be tapping into those, setting up meetings from the first day we're on the ground in Canada. I love it. Can you tell us a little bit about your New to Canada Academy that you're inviting students into on today's episode? Yeah, I would love to welcome new faces. Um, I created it because yeah, there isn't one place where you can go when you move to a new country that gives you all the information you need and you have a community of other internationals that have done the exact same move as you. Um, So yeah, all of the resources and all of the support in one place. So we have an online uh, video course uh, delivered by myself and career coaches and real estate agents. Oh, cool. Yeah, we run through everything you need. We were just mentioning the pre-arrival prep, uh, the logistics that when once you get here, so setting up a bank, a phone plan, all of that life admin. Um, the Canadian culture. So more about what we were talking about today uh, and then all about your career and your social life as well. So um, I've actually got a juicy deal for everyone listening. If you are interested, if you're moving to Canada, um, I've got $50 off for you today. So with the code all is you can save $50 and I hope to see you inside. All right, good. So that, so where can our listeners go to get that special deal? What's the link that they can go to Kate? Yeah, so it's the Newcomer Collective. So um, okay. that's the newcomercollective.com that has the podcast, that has the academy, um, and you can get in touch with me on Instagram, the Newcomer Collective as well. And I'm always happy to chat about moving to Canada. I love it. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Guys, type in coupon code all ears. Is that right, Kate? So A L L E A R S to get $50 off. That's so good. You know, I wish I had something like that when I moved to Japan. I spent a year and a half in Japan. It would have been so nice to be able to go to one place online and get advice about, you know, where to live, how to get my phone going, (laughs) you know, where to network to improve my career. And it is such a gift for our listeners to be able to join this group. So guys go over, join Kate's program. And Kate, thanks for coming on the show today to uh, let us know a little bit about Canadian slang. Super interesting. Yeah, it's crazy how different it can be. It's been wonderful. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Kate. Have a good day. You too. Bye.